chapelle au musée d'Orsay De Bagatelle au bar du Châtelet À la Sorbonne, suçons et sorbets On se pomponne, on sort désormais La vie... Way, you ready for some hummus at 9 o'clock in the morning? Yeah? <laughs> I could eat hummus at 9 o'clock in the morning. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> second dish we're going to work on today is uh, just something that's very simple to make. A lot of you probably buy it pre-made in the grocery store. Um, I do too <clears throat> because I'm lazy in the kitchen often. And, uh, but you know, you can't believe how easy this is to make and how affordable it is compared to the pre-purchased variety. And the nice thing is, it's so simple, you just puree this hummus up. You can add uh, different things to it that you, okay, that you I like. start out, this is going to make a good size serving. This will keep for about a week, week and a half, two weeks in the refrigerator. I just keep mine in an airtight container and pull it I out whenever I want. Two cans, it. two 16 ounce cans of garbanzo beans, right, chickpeas, okay, drained. Okay, in they go, just like that. Okay, um, a quarter cup of olive oil. You want to probably get a good quality fruity olive oil because the flavor of the olive oil really comes out in the dish. You know, there are some things you make, some dishes where the oil taste may not be all that discernible, um, but this is one where it really is. So you want to make sure you get something uh, good and fruity, that nice olive oil, nice olivey flavor. And then a quarter cup of water, okay, because you need a little more moisture in it so it's not too thick. Now you can adjust. Even though I've called for a quarter cup of each in this recipe, you can adjust that if you like your uh, hummus a little bit smoother, not so chunky or not so thick. The recipe calls for adjust. three cloves of minced garlic. Okay, so a half of a teaspoon of minced garlic in the jar is equivalent to one clove. So the recipe calls for three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, so I put five cloves in mine because I like it a little more garlicky. And believe me, um, you're not okay, going to so forget our, uh, our five cloves of garlic, minced garlic. Does anybody know what tahini is? Yeah. Who can tell me? Y'all are so good. Yeah. Um, and let me tell you, I love it. Now, two tablespoons of tahini go into this hummus recipe. It's going to give it sort of a nice, nutty flavor. It's going to make it a little more complex. Um, it just gives it a wonderful... What mm. is it? It's gr I'm sorry, it's ground up what sesame. Is with your lemon, depending on the size and how lemony you like it, you can adjust this also, okay? I like to kind of roll mine. Can you see that? I like to give mine a good roll here on the cutting board. Just kind of loosen those juices up a little bit, okay? All righty, if any, if any seeds there, I just kind of pop them out. And sometimes I kind of run the lemon juice through my fingers just a little bit to catch any extra seeds that may come out. <clears throat> I have tried so many different ways of squeezing the juice out of lemons. I have one of those fancy little lemon, yellow and green lemon lime. You've seen those from William Sonoma? I'm sure I needed one of those. I never use it. Oh, it's just um, easier to get in there with your hands. Wash them good. Make sure everything's, make sure your hands are nice and clean. So there we have the juice of one lemon. This kind of, the nice thing about lemon with any dish that you prepare is it just, it sort of brightens it up a little bit. You, you, will, you will taste a discernible lemony flavor in there, but it's not overwhelming. Oftentimes it just gives it that little bit of brightness, kind of lightens it up a little bit, gives a little bit of spark. I tried making the hummus without it and it just wasn't the same. Okay, there we go. All right, we're just gonna let it go. Here we go. Now, can y'all hear me? You can determine, you know, just it, it's entirely up to you in terms of how long you want to process it. Some people like a chunkier, some people like a chunkier hummus, and some people prefer it nice and smooth with no, you know, no chunks at all. And that is entirely your call. Uh, my kids tend to like it smooth because kids don't seem to like chunky things. I don't know why that is. Yeah, they bite. They don't know what it is, so they, so they like it nice and smooth. So. At this point, we're going to add our sun-dried tomatoes. And let me tell you um, about sun-dried tomatoes. You don't need to get the kind that are packed in oil. You can get these. They sell them in three-ounce, I believe it's, yes, three-ounce uh, packages like this uh, in the produce section. Um, the ones that I got were already julienned. That just makes your processing a little bit easier, okay? All right, so in go the sun-dried tomatoes a whole three ounce package. Um, I like them broken up into pretty nice pieces, but, but still nice little red pieces that you can taste when you bite into them. Okay, and this makes a generous amount of hummus, as you can see, okay? The whole thing kind of has an orange tint to it now, okay? Can you see that? And there's really nothing to that, y'all. This is one of the easiest things. You know, you didn't even have to turn the oven on, right? <laughs> this is a simple recipe, and it smells so good olive oil, okay, and I would give it a, one more little drizzle right across the top, makes it so pretty, okay, and then 
I would serve it. Um, this is what, how actually how I served it last week. I'm going to put a couple of little lemon wedges. Okay. Okay. I would just maybe garnish with a few little lemon wedges there on the sides. There we go. Kind of like that. People can reach in and squeeze a little more lemon with that. I could just do that, right? See? Just squeeze a little lemon juice right over the top. Okay. And what did that take? Five minutes? Yeah? Isn't that pretty? Okay, you guys get to sample this later, <laughs> right? Gonna give that to Lisa, and we have the pizza. She's gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs>